The trigger for this story was really just an offhand comment that I heard that you could buy 20 kilogram bags of antibiotics over the counter in India. I was aware from previous coverage led by uh, my colleague Jason Gale, who had done some stunning work on the overuse and misuse of antibiotics by people. Uh, this was the first time I'd heard about it in the context of farms and livestock. And it occurred to me, if we're worried about people popping too many pills, what, is this, what does it mean that we're giving kilos of the same stuff to, to animals? I went to Jason and I said, look, I wanna try and get onto some chicken farms and see what I find there. And he said, go for it. What I found there stunned me. It was far worse than I had ever even imagined. Antibiotics were being given to day old chicks. It was being put in their drinking water. In one case, uh, our last resort antibiotic called Colistin, it's safe for the most serious cases. It was being used as a cleaning agent in one of these chicken pens. The, the significance was immediately obvious to me. These were some of the biggest chicken companies in India. They were the suppliers to McDonald's, KFC, five-star hotels, exports to the Middle East and Japan. And they had been claiming that they don't use antibiotics or that they only use them for medical purposes. And that simply wasn't true. And where I really lucked out as a reporter was that I came across these log books where these chicken companies had been instructing these farmers uh, which antibiotics to give, when, how much. We had indisputable evidence. The response was almost immediate. The chief medical officer of the UK responded to our story. I had academic researchers around the world saying that they were also stunned. They'd long suspected this, but had never seen any evidence. I had one researcher in Europe actually contact me and said, please, please, can you send me a copy of these log books? And it started off a, a chain of stories at Bloomberg uh, that went on for the rest of the year. Uh, it was one of those times where as a journalist you felt you really had made an impact.